If you plan to use multiple choice questions for your uh, formative quizzes in Moodle, uh, it's actually probably easier to write them using the Aiken format in a word processor like Word. Save them as a text file and then upload and import them en masse into your uh, course question bank. So the Aiken format is fairly straightforward. If you basically have uh, multiple choice uh, quizzes in Word documents on your computer already, it's very easy to convert them into Aiken format uh, files for import. So basically, you need to have a question, uh, a number of choices for that question, with a consistent uh, A, B, C, D, you know, each question and each choice has to be on one line that is no, um, no uh, carriage returns. And then to make this an Aiken format uh, file, all you need to do is add answer in uppercase letters with a colon, a space, and then indicate what the correct answer is. You know, importing the questions will um, mean that you can't use a lot of the custom features of questions if you, as if you were writing them directly in Moodle. So basically, uh, you know, whereas if you wrote a multiple choice question in Moodle, you'd be able to provide uh, partial credit. You'd be able to provide um, unique feedback for every question, whether the answer was right or wrong. With the Aiken format import, we basically are setting up the question and the choices and indicating which of the choices gets 100% credit and all the others get 0% credit. But as a way to quickly put together a question bank to draw on for uh, you know, a random assignment of questions into a quiz, I find it very useful to just go ahead and write them up um, in a Word document. You then, of course, have to save it as a text file. So I will go, uh, you know, file save as here. And you want to, uh, you want to select the actual plain text, not rich text format, but just plain text. And uh, Word will put a .txt file extension on the file. And uh, I'm just going to save that out to my messy desktop here. And when I click Save, since I'm using the Mac version of uh, Word, it's going to ask me, you know, what in, what encoding to use. And I found through trial and error that I want to switch this to MS DOS text encoding so that the lines are ended with a carriage return and line feed. And those uh, then um, import. Uh, correctly into the Moodle question bank. So I will save that. Now I have my text file on the desktop. If I go into my Moodle course, go to uh, administration under, under question bank, if I go to import, I can say this is going to be Aiken format. If you uh, want to explore some of these other import formats, like uh, GIFT format allows you, you know, much more flexibility in terms of uh, writing and importing true-false, multiple choice, matching, fill in the blank, and so forth. Uh, you could you you can click on these question uh, icons to pull up additional help information. I am going to under general, you know verify that the quizzes questions are going to be imported into the category that I want to import them into and I'm going to just leave the other defaults I'm going to choose a file so if I go out to my desktop and find this text file I can drag and drop that text file and click import and here's the moment of truth. It's going to say, it's parsing the questions. It's going to import 20 questions from the file. And I'm going to say continue. <clears throat> and now if I look at that <clears throat> unit one quiz questions category, we now have 22 questions. The, the two that I did previously 
uh, within Moodle. You can see it's imported all of these multiple choice questions and now they're all ready for me to use uh, in, um, in a quiz.